back. Did you miss me? It's been a few weeks since we've talked about the organ, but I'm coming to you today with part three of our organ series. All right, so third video in this four part series. So today we're gonna talk about the final two divisions of the instrument, which would be the pedal division and the grape division. So I figure we will start with the pedal division as it's marginally easier to access than the great division is. And by this point, you can probably guess where I'm going. Yes, I am going in through two hava doors today. Our pedal division is divided on both sides of the organ. So follow me. Okay, I'm fairly certain I just bruised myself from how aggressively I tried to enter this, <laughs> but it's okay, I will be okay. So I am standing in a uh, part of the pedal division. All of this right here, this is all pipe work, and these are some of the biggest pipes that we have in the organ. They are eight plus feet tall, some of them, and some of them are less tall, but have a stopper on the top of them, effectively doubling their speaking length. Now I'm going to invite you up this ladder with me because very interestingly with our pedal division on both sides is that it is multi-layered. So there are like two stories to our pedal division. And so I am actually standing right under one of the raised chests. Uh, in order to access this, you have to climb this tiny wooden ladder, which is I'm told securely fastened to the wall. So follow me, we're gonna climb up and just take a look at some of the, the smaller pipes that are raised up above us. I am, I'm hanging on. There's not a lot up here, but I do think it's interesting. So you can see that we are four or five feet off the ground and uh, there is a floating chest right over to the side here and there are just some pipes that come all the way up here. Uh, they are very difficult to access, so this would fall under the category of, I don't know how to access these pipes or how they get tuned, but this is just another kind of <laughs> way to show you how inconveniently our organ is, is, is set up. Climbing and holding onto ladders is not an ideal way to service an instrument. All right, so now I'm on the other side of the pedal division. We've been here a few times, perhaps you remember. Uh, more wooden pipes over here off to my back. Um, these in here are our biggest pipes in the organ. You can see some of them just extend up to the heavens appropriately. Also up to the catwalk if you've ever been up there, which I don't recommend nor suggest nor condone. Don't do it, but it is very interesting if you've been up there and terrifying. So perhaps you remember a few weeks ago, there is a, a window right over here <laughs> where there's a board that's doing its very best job to, to block out the elements. All the pipes that you see over here are uh, turned off. They are not in operation right now. So let me just kind of show you how many that is. These are all pipes. <laughs> all of these and everything that you see down this row. And uh, these are these are too deep. So there's a, a set of pipes behind what you see right here. These have all been turned off. Why, perhaps you're asking yourself, why would you turn off pipes? Well, because of that window that's right there, um, these pipes are subject to an incredible amount of humidity and just weather in general. While these pipes are large and in charge, none of them, none of them work right now. We have had to shut them off because they had a lot of ciphers. A cipher is when a pipe involuntarily plays and does not stop playing. I would stuff socks or Bibles or hymnals or whatever I could find laying around. I would shove it in the mouth of the pipe so I would put something right here to block the air from causing the rest of the pipe to vibrate. That was my makeshift solution. Just go without saying, but stuffing Bibles into your church pipe organ is a less than desirable situation to have. So like the other side of the pedal division, this side is in two stories, two layers. Uh, and so we have another ladder. Let's climb up it real quick and I'll just give you a quick flyover so you can see what, what these pipes look like. So this is the top level of pipes. So those pipes, they're all the way back against the wall. Those are the biggest pipes that we have in this organ. They are massive. They are about um, 12 feet long. And these pipes, you tend to feel more than you hear. Um, of course, you don't hear them at all right now because they do not receive any wind. 
Now let's talk about the great division. We've seen the petal division and um, you've seen how tight it is. You've seen how tight the entire organ is and how there's not a lot of space to move around in there. And we have yet to talk about the biggest division of the instrument, the great division. This is the division where I do most of my hymn playing, save some moments where I'm playing softer or soloing out melodies on some other manuals and other divisions. So I have to climb up here. I actually took off my shoes for this because um, I thought it'd be a good idea to wear loafers today, which was a great mistake, but live and learn, I suppose. So you have to climb up here after you've taken out some of the pipes and mind the gap and land onto this walkway, which you can see I am standing with my feet together and I have maybe, maybe an inch and a half, two inches on either side of my feet before you hit just a ton of pipes like this on either side. So this division is uh, home to a lot of pipes. It is also home to our great big festival trumpets that you see and hear from above the organ. However, that is only a portion of our giant trumpet pipes. The rest of them, there are too many to fit up there in that beautiful display. So the rest of them are tucked away into the back of this division. Here are the rest. These, as you can note, are silver compared to the kind of tarnished copper of the um, exterior pipes that you see. The silver color is the natural color of the pipe. That's what the display pipes look like underneath. We have just made them a different color for presentation purposes. So now we're gonna look at one of the smallest pipes that we have in this instrument. Not the smallest, but one of the smallest. Um, this is one of our two foot flutes in the Greek division. And you'll notice that while the pipe itself is very long, from the very bottom up until right where my finger is, that is all just empty pipe for air to travel. The mouth of the pipe it starts right there, which means the speaking length is no more than the size of like a fingernail. It's a very small, it's a very high, I don't know if my phone will be able to capture this. It's a dog whistle at this point. Um, it's a musical dog whistle. So pipes can be as big as the pedal pipes that we saw um, just a few moments ago, or they can be literally as small as a fingernail. It's so exciting. We have such a wide array of shapes and sizes to produce just an, a vast array of musical colors. This is a speaker, an old speaker, but it is a speaker. I believe it was in the 80s that we installed these digital stops, of which we have two. So the two electronic, the two digital stops that we have are very rarely used. Um, one of them is a very, very low, very grumbly reed. I will use it only, only if the organ is cranked to full volume already and I just need that extra punch. It is uh, loud and it is raucous. The other digital stop is also for the pedal. It is an extension of our festival trumpets, those really big trumpets that you see above and you can see behind me. Uh, they only go so low in the pipe fork. We supplement about an octave. The last 11 notes or so are digital. And that's all I got for you today. A quick overview of the two final divisions of the organ. The pedal division, which is on either side of the organ, and the great division, which is directly in the center, so it can project right out into the congregation. Next time, I will talk to you from the console, so we'll get to see a little bit more of how you actually operate it uh, on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, as always, stay safe, stay healthy. If you have any questions, please reach out to me. My email address is on the website. I'll put it in the description of this video as well. I look forward to hearing from you and answering any questions you might have. Have a good one, everybody.